kilometer route lang pala based on dun sa um, um, app natin so we just entered the trailhead and uh, tingnan nyo kung gano'n ako dito dito every once in a while napakagay ko nagpunta sa mga lugar na ganito um, even if you're not a biker or a rider kung may mga lugar kayo na makikita na ganito um, it's just relaxing No? try nyo lang, siguro marami naman eh, uh, a park and uh, other places siguro um, sa urban um, kaya din nauso yung mga halahalaman eh, kasi it's therapeutic and uh, it's relaxing whenever nagpapat kayo or nag, uh, nagbubungkal lang kung ano-ano <laughs> so yeah, this is it um, we're gonna go into uh, breakdown, so sobrang short na lang noon, and then after maybe just about a kilometer na na tayo. it's breakdown kasi there's a lot of bricks along the way and brick um, brick houses or brick constructions kaya breakdown yung tawag nila so makikita nyo in a while tara There's a lot of bricks dito sa lugar na to. That's why it's called Brick Town. And along the way, kung napansin nyo dun sa mga dinaanan natin, 
marami ring bricks na nakakalat. So, we're not sure kung dating pagawaan ba ito ng mga bricks or maybe it's a town made out of bricks na hindi na natuloy. So, hindi namin alam kung ano yung history ng mga structures dito. Pero, meron ding mga parang mga equipments doon eh na probably may ginagawa before pero hindi namin alam. Pero, ang alam lang namin ay napakaganda rito. So, if you want to see a relaxing vibe, green, scenery, pwede naman pictorial dito actually. Kung kaya nyo magpunta rito, pwede namang sasakyan. Siguro magpapart na lang somewhere there. Napakaganda. Um, imagine, um, sooner or later or in the next generation, um, hindi na natin makikita to. So, right now, napakaswerte natin na mga nakakapunta pa na na-experience natin yung mga ganitong lugar. Especially on the mountains. Um, nakakamiss ng umakyat pero since yun nga, um, pandemic pa, hindi pa tayo makaakon gawa ng iniingatan din ng mga locals yung um, mga mamamayan nila dun sa taas na hindi magkasakay ng mga makaibo sa COVID. <laughs> right now, dito muna tayo sa mga talampas at sa mga <laughs> um, plain fields ng Bulacan. And it's really satisfying naman, no? And we just have to keep in mind that whenever we go to these uh, kinds of places, we need to respect locals, respect the place as much as possible. Um, syempre, huwag magkakalat. Although guilty naman tayong lahat dyan, no? Hindi natin may iwasan yung makapag-iwan ng kung ano or kumuha ng mga hindi naman talaga dapat kinukuha. <laughs> so, yun. Siguro, enjoyin lang natin yung lugar. I mean, para sa atin naman to. Alright, so... Now, we're heading to Likaw-Likaw. Um, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung terminal or jump off ng Mount Balagbag. And then, tatagos sa tayo ng Camp uh, Mahogany, Sitio Makabud. And then, lalabas na tayo ng Arap. Just to showcase yung lugar mo ng mga makikita nyo. So, tara. Diyan na So I think that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in on another episode of our um, bike ride here in San Jose del Monte Bulacan. So again, we went for a bike ride here in the plain fields of uh, San Jose. So we loop natin siya from um, Tungkong Manga and then dumaan tayo ng Paradise. Uh, lumusot dito sa May, um, Santo, uh, Makabud and then we went to Mahogany Camp 
until here sa Tungkong Manga, balik, and then uh, lalabas dun sa pangarap. Actually, uh, pangarap trail kasi pangarap yung lalabasan nyo. Pero this is not part of pangarap uh, village, I think, yun yung tawag nila. It's another barangay ang Kaloocan, pero tinawag lang siya na pangarap trail kasi dun yung lalabasan natin. So technically, hindi. It's uh, Makabud, Tungkong Manga, and San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, somewhere there. So, yun yung mga inikot natin kanina. Um, it's, it's, it's a quick ride, no? Kung mapapansin nyo, um, Mulan, Umaraw, and it's really normal in those kinds of places kasi um, madaming tanim, madaming puno. So, yung oxygenation niya, uh, mas malakas maka-attract sa ulan, kaya papalit-palit yung panahon, especially in this kinds of season. And kung makikita nyo sa video, ito yung Mount Balakbag sa harap natin. Yan. On the left part, maulan. And dun tayo galing sa part na yun. Dun ang likaw-likaw. Dun sa bandang yun. So kung mapapansin nyo, <laughs> maulan talaga dun. And dito, tuyong tuyo. So palabas sa tayo ng Quezon City. And uh, siguro yung mga tao magtataka na naman sana namang <laughs> sa galing yun. Pero anyhow, um, it's really fun riding the trails, especially if it's muddy and yun, nasa natural habitat yung mountain bike mo, syempre so, yun lang um, Bricktown um, it's really a nice place, relaxing kung gusto nyo tumambay, and again para sa akin, maganda yun na um, spot to um, do a prenup shoots kasi it's like a nature vibe thing, and then may mga bricks and all so, anyway, it's, it's, it's a good concept whenever um, someone uh, decided to do a photo shoot dun sa lugar na yun. Anyhow, um, it's been a, an adventure uh, again on a solo mode. <laughs> Siguro next time, uh, mag na tayo ng mga uh, makakaride natin sa grupo pag pwede sila. So, right now, uh, thank you again and see you on the next ride.